great asset to the team. From his own lips, you will hear proclaimed the one true leader of all hell. See, I didn't just beat the devil. I tamed him. This is all done of your own free will, was it not? Yes, my lord. Look, kids, he goes where I tell him. He does what I tell him. He is my dog. Crowley needed this to get them, everyone on board and afraid of him again. A bit of respect in hell. A bit of respect for the king. There is only one true ruler of hell. And that is me, is it not? Oh, yes. And you surrender your heartfelt support to that one true ruler? Absolutely. And what do you have to say to those who are still unsure of whom they must obey? I say this. Anyone who does not support this one true king can be assured of suffering unendurable and everlasting agony. Uh-oh. This didn't really go to plan, Crowley. I don't hear applause. Oh no, Crowley, you need to be steps ahead, remember? Miss Clyde. Yes? This is Oliver at Dr. Turner's office. He'd like to see you in the office today. This is I, some uh, dude in I was just in there. Now. He said everything was fine. All oh, right. Well, he looked back through your test results, and there are some things he'd like to discuss. Oh, wait. What accent is that? <laughs> I thought you'd be coming alone. And I thought we'd gotten past our trust issues. Look, if Dagon shows, we're going to need all the help we can get. Just Renny Rawlings, new man. Right. I'm Sam. This is Eileen Leahy. Ah, the Banshee girl. From what Mick tells me, neither of you have any formal training. Fascinating. That was top of my class at Kendrick's. No one cares. <laughs> I uh, brought the coat, just like you asked. But it's got to go back to HQ. Gee, Mick, I thought we'd gotten past the trust issues. Hmm. <laughs> Stay cool. Walk with me. Dean? Listen, we, we all know you're in a really difficult situation, and, and we, we just... We want to help. You call this helping? Look, Kelly, that kid, it's, I mean, it can't. I mean, it's Lucifer's. Yeah, I know. But you think I wanted this to happen? He used me. But I love this child. You will mean absolutely nothing to that child. That child will kill us all. Hey, that, that's not happening, OK? We're, we're going to figure something out. We will. This we're, is we're, absurd. Don't. She's here. Dagon. Oh, brilliant. I didn't even see that fall out of his hand. My bad. <laughs> well, that I didn't see coming. She can just... Wow. Kind of glad it, he died. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm not gonna miss him. I didn't, I didn't mean to. I was shooting at the demon. Wait up, wait up. It was an accident. It's all right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa. whoa. What are you doing? She killed a man of letters. She, she has to die. It was an accident. It doesn't matter. The code. No, hey, screw the code. Don't make this harder than it already is. Mick, you don't have to do this. Yes, I do. Please don't. Please. Please don't. The code demands otherwise. But there are... Please. British men of letters. So the code is full of crap. You don't have to do that, Mick. You're better than that. You only have to answer to yourself. You only have to do what you know is right. You only have to answer to your own code. Just go. 
He's so conflicted. I knew well, it. Well, that was unexpected. I, it was not unexpected. But I mean, I called it. I must say, when I first met you, I didn't see this coming. My thought at the time was, I'll end up shooting this one. <laughs> Just what you want to hear after sex. <laughs> and I notice you took my advice. Advice? Well, you had a choice to make, your work or... Family ties? You know what? It's not either or. I have the same discussion with my boys. I'm not choosing hunting over them. Why does it have to be one or the other? So you want to have it all? Trying to. Good for you. Yeah, after the system was installed, Crowley killed Spivak to safeguard its secrets. Hmm. Well. You can crack it, right? Yeah, I just need some time. I'll, I'll, I'll be quick. Good. Because I am getting stir crazy. So it's just demons that created this thing. I didn't realize demons were that skilled. Is that the word that I'm after? Oh, she feels awful. You okay? No. No. He wasn't a monster. He was... I... Yeah, but... I mean, he was a monster, wasn't he? I... It was a mistake. Oh. I kind of ship it. <laughs> Don't. Don't do it. It will end up in her death. Why are you doing this? Oh, don't even. I tried, but clearly you can't be trusted. I was worried about the baby. I'm trying to protect him. Oh, honey, you can't. I mean, you don't need to. I wasn't lying. Your baby's strong, so strong. Whatever happens, he is going to be just fine. But you won't. Yeah. Those weird little pains, just a taste of what's to come. Because, kiddo, birthing a Nephilim? Fatal. Always. Why, why would she have said that? Because if anything now, that's going to make her believe what the men of letters are saying. And from her point of view, she needs to make sure that she stays calm so that they get this Nephilim. Why'd you call me here? Oh, I didn't. Mr. Davies. Dr. Hess, I didn't think you left London. I don't. But I have been tasked by the other elders to fix this rapidly deteriorating situation. Ma'am, please. Um... Are you about to tell me that you are doing the best that you can? Hunters are dogs, Mr. Davies. You give them an order and they obey. That's how it works. So tell me, do they? Do they obey you? So what's Mr. Ketch then? Isn't he a hunter? So, this Eileen Leahy will be found and killed in accordance with the code. Absolutely not. As for the Winchesters, like any rebellious hunter, they will be investigated and, if found guilty, executed. If? If they're found guilty? Our hunters always found guilty. Be careful, Mr. Davies. No. My entire life with the men of letters, I never broke a rule. And yes, at first I was shocked at how Sam and Dean operate. But what Lady Bevel doesn't mention is the lives they've saved. Monsters destroyed. Yep. And outcomes made better, not because of the code, but because of Sam and Dean Winchester's sense of what's right. And that is the crux of the matter. The code is not a suggestion, it's an absolute. The code is what separates us from the monsters. It is the order by which we all live. Oh, the code is what makes a young boy kill his best friend. When I was a child, I had nothing. I owed you everything. And I obeyed. But I'm a man now, Dr. Hess. And I can see the choices. And I choose to do the right thing. 
Oh my freaking God. I mean, I thought he was gonna die, but that caught me off guard right there. Mr. Ketch is a savage. I mean, we knew that, but whoa. Well, now I'm even more worried about Eileen. Where's Eileen? She took off. Uh, said she's heading back to Ireland for a while. Just need some time, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I get that. Hmm. Come back, sweetheart. It's over. The grand experiment of recruiting American hunters has failed. Utterly. Hmm. What would you like me to do? Exterminate them. Every last one. Well, he's not going to be able to do that with Mary, surely. Right? So, quite a few twists in that one. And the plot is definitely pushing forward now with this whole British Men of Letters thing. I am surprised that Mick went out the way that he did because I thought that he would die but I didn't think it'd just be like that by Mr. Ketch like straight away. Obviously the British men of letters don't, they don't have any heart whatsoever, they're very cold, they live by this stupid code which they just pick and choose apparently when it suits them because he did make Mick kill his best friend but then said that a British men of letters that kills another British men of letters should be put down so what a stupid task that was unless they weren't classed as British men of letters at that time because they hadn't graduated or something and that's the loophole like some sick twisted loophole I don't know so Mr Ketch now has to put an end to all the Winchesters Dean, Sam, Mary, all the hunters, Eileen. But again, like, where is the logic in that? Because there's so many hunters. Unless they're, like, multiplying over in Britain or whatever, and they're gonna... Because if, if, the, if the hunters in America are all exterminated, then all the good that they've they're doing right now won't be done they'll have an influx of supernatural beings surely then when america is just swimming with them they're gonna then head over to other places of the world probably britain and then they're gonna have to fight even more they where is where is the sense you know don't get it someone please explain to me why <laughs> And I'm all ears, you know, if, if you think that there is logic there, I would like to hear it because right now I ain't seeing it, you know? Unless they're on about just killing the hunters that know about the British Men of Letters, aka Dean, Sam, Mary and Eileen. Although, like, again, Mr. Ketch, men of, British Men of Letters, kills Mick. Who's then going to kill Mr. Ketch? Oh, it's like the rules, the code is only important if it suits them at the time. That's the vibe that I'm getting from these hypocrites that are the British men of letters. <laughs> oh, love seeing Eileen again back and her and Sam's relationship, super cute. I felt for her when she killed the annoying Brit there. Uh, uh, Reese was it? And that is definitely going to play on her mind. Although I think it's going to quickly change when they start hunting her. The Nephilim as well. So Kelly's going to die as soon as this Nephilim is born. Then the Nephilim is going to kill whoever, probably. Uh, but what worries me is that the baby is probably going to get born. That's the vibe that I'm getting. And then somehow Lucifer and this baby, who's again name. I have forgotten, I know that they mentioned it, will then cause a 
big old ruckus on Earth. Maybe then Chuck and Amara will show their faces. Like, I just don't get it. I don't get where they are. Where are you guys? <laughs> a lot is going on on Earth right now. They're just there, like, reminiscing about old times and how they wish that they never tried to kill each other and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Anywho. So, Mary sleeping with Ketch. Just want to touch upon that really quick. Saw it coming, really did. There was definitely a vibe between them. The conversation afterwards surprised me a little bit because Mary was very like Dean, like, don't get attached. This is just, you know, sex, nothing more. And then Ketch is like, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, I'm not wired for that. Clearly lying and he's, this is what makes me think that he does have a soft spot for Mary. And when he has to kill her, which he inevitably has to do following this, headmistress's orders it's gonna really affect Mr Ketch and his idea moving forward about what he genuinely wants from a job because apparently hunters are just dogs that need to obey very interesting indeed I want to thank each and every one of you for watching this reaction and if you enjoyed it please give this video a cheeky thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you would like to but as always there's no pressure here please check out the description below. I always leave a rating on Supernatural and my thoughts about what I think of this episode and as well as all the important links will be listed below. So check those out and I really hope to see you all again soon for the next video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.